What's up guys, I'm Gary Soto, and I have a really great video for you guys, so you guys definitely want to stick around. Now I'm going to be showing you how to create a website portfolio hover scrolling effect. I don't really know how to describe it too much, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what we're going to be building, and it's definitely something useful whenever you want to show off your websites to your clients. So let me just show you guys what we're going to be building. Now this is just our website portfolio page, but the main part that I'm talking about are these portfolio website images here that are in this box. So whenever we hover over this, you'll see that the website will scroll down for each one. Now this one isn't too long, so that's why it barely scrolls. But as you can tell this one, it completely scrolls all the way down. And it does the same thing for this one here. Now this is what I'm going to be showing you guys how to build on Elementor. Now you can apply this probably for any other website builder. Now I hope you guys end up enjoying this. Now that's pretty much what we're going to be building. I hope you guys end up enjoying the video. Now if you guys do find it helpful, make sure to squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Now if you think I should turn this into a plugin, please comment down below and let me know. I'm definitely considering it. But without further ado, here's the video. So let's begin. So by the way, this is just an Elementor template here. I ended up just exporting it and removing one of the sections right under this one. So go ahead and add a section and just make it one column. From here, go into your intersections, add an intersection. And we're just gonna want our intersection to be one column, perfect. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just duplicate it. We want to duplicate this column here, our main column. Just duplicate it until we have about four of them. Just so then we have the right sizing. Uh, so you can see how it's going to look like whenever we add our um, website images. I noticed that these ones, I honestly didn't really click duplicate. I duplicate. So make sure that, you're, that you have an intersection um, within your uh, column here instead of, oops, I did it again. Sorry about that. Just click duplicate there. There we go. And make sure each each uh, column has an intersection. Perfect. And then from here, we just want to go ahead and grab one of our images. I'm going to grab an image. I'm going to drag it right into my um, inner intersections column. And I'm going to choose one of my uh, website images here. By the way, if you don't know how to get a screenshot of your website, of your entire website, I would suggest you go into a screenshotmachine.com and then go ahead and just Type in your URL and go ahead and click on um, full website screenshot here. Make sure that's checked and then capture the website. And then you can just go ahead and download it and then upload it to your website, by the way. I'll have this link down in, in the description so you guys can go ahead and use that there. Alrighty. So from here, go ahead and click on your, your um, intersection. Go into style. And we just want to stylize this a bit. So have it have a white background and then go into your background overlay. And then what we want to do here is uh, sorry. And then go into your border. And go ahead and add a box shadow. We have a box shadow there, but I also want to add some space inside my inner column. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I click on my section here. Or actually click on your um, inner section column, go into advance, and make sure that's set to zero. Perfect. Now go back into your section, your inner section, and then go into advance and set this to 15. There we go, that's perfect. And then go into style, go into border, and we wanna adjust our box shadow, we wanna set this to our blur, set this to seven, and then we just wanna bring our opacity down to about this color here. Um, and that's just zero 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 fifteen. All right, now that's looking pretty good. Except you just want to smooth out the edges, so I'm gonna do five. But you can also do ten. Ten actually does not look that bad either. Yeah, so ten can work as well. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just start duplicating this one. And then I'm gonna remove the rest of these. I just wanted to give you guys that visualization that well, that's why we added these other ones here. 
and then just go ahead and duplicate this one and duplicate this one and duplicate this one. And then let's go ahead and just remove these set these here. And then I'll probably just duplicate one more. And then we go ahead and duplicate this one here. There we go. Perfect. Now we just want to change out the images. So I'm going to go ahead and click on um, this image here and I'm going to change it to this one here. And I'm pretty much going to do the same for all of them. Go. And there we go. Perfect. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do here, I want to add some spacing to this. So you know what, let's click on my column here. Or if I'm going back and forth there, so click on your column on your first column. And then we're going to add a spacing from make sure this is unselected. Let's do 20 from the left and 20 from the right. And then let's just copy the style. Sorry, we probably should have done that first and then duplicated it. But um, this works as well. I'm going to right click it and paste the style. Perfect. All right. And then I'm going to add some spacing to this. So I'm going to click on my main section here. And from the top, I think we should do about uh, maybe 100. And from the bottom, and the bottom's fine. Bottom doesn't need it. Great already. Perfect. Then we just want to add some title to this. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. Um, grab this text, but you can just easily drag your text in there and then just create it. Let me just drag a heading here and I'll just show you just use here. And what we want to do is we want to make sure a heading is right under our, um, our intersection. You can tell it's not really working there, but you know what? Let's try to try to just move it in there and then we'll There we go. But I want to use the same style, so I'm going to copy this, paste the style. Obviously, you can change it to whatever font you're using on your website. Then I'm just going to name this website here, and I'm going to call this um ecom or I think this t-shirt site. I'm going to call it t-shirt site. Go ahead and center this. And I'm going to remove that motion effect because I don't need that there. Be did want to add a motion effect, you can do that anyway. Let's go to advanced and then let's add some space from the top. And I'm probably going to shrink the text a little bit. I'm going to do about 15 up and let's shrink down now. All right, you can do 20. Now you can go ahead and have this title above or at the right at the above here. Um, but I like to have it at the bottom. Depends how you want to go ahead and adjust that. And then I'm going to go ahead and just copy this over to these other sites here. And I'm going to name this, um, this, this a blog site. Paste it over here as well. And this is my hiking club site. If you guys probably have seen this before, I had a tutorial on this. Club. And then this is just um, an Elementor template here. I call it um, marketing site. Okay, so now that's looking good. The issue is that we need to go ahead and shrink our boxes here. And we need to have that hover effect that lets our um, image scroll. So go ahead and just click update. Take a look. Take a look at this real quick and just see how that looks. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. All right, so now we're just going to add some CSS and then we're going to add our JavaScript. It's really simple. We're just going to copy and paste it there. But before we even paste those um, CSS uh, code, we're going to go ahead and just add our our um, classes, our class IDs. So, or just our classes. So what we want to do here is go ahead and click on your image. It's going to be probably the first one. That we're going to do now this one's not going to do anything but um the, but it will end up helping us out later on so click on your image go into advance and then on your classes here and this is very important your main image your image make sure it says edit image and then go into um go into the description and you're going to want to paste this um, image class it's called website slash image have that down in the description and then just go ahead and paste that in there. Now, like I said, it's not going to do anything. Now go to the next one here. Make sure you click your you're on the image. Go to classes, paste that in there, and paste that one in there for the next one. And do the same thing for the last one here. Perfect. We have four there. 
and each um, image has that class of website image. That's perfect. Now we just want to shrink this box here. And that's where our other um, CSS class is going to come in. So this one is called, let me scroll up. It's our box container. So go ahead and just grab this website box. And this one is, um, you want to actually paste this one in your intersection column. So it should be this one here. Go to advance and then paste that one in the class. See that there. And then paste it also in here. Now it's probably working because for some reason, um, my, my uh, CSS, uh, I guess script is still is still working for some reason. But go ahead and click on this here. Go ahead and click on this one. Go into advance and click on CSS class. Now don't worry if it doesn't work right away. It's because we haven't pasted the, the CSS um, styling yet. So going to wait on that. Okay. So go ahead and paste that on your next column. Go to advance. Then in there. And then go ahead and paste it in here as well. I think it just saved for some reason. I think it's because we have it here. Let me go ahead and remove it. I have it in here, which I should have removed it beforehand. Um, this is so this is probably what you'll be getting right now, right after you've pasted um, the CSS class into this column here into the intersection column. You probably still see this and you won't see that it's not working yet. Well, that's just because we need to add our CSS, um, our CSS codes. So there's two options here. If you have Elementor Pro, you can easily just go into your settings and then paste it in the advanced, go to advanced and then paste it into your custom CSS. But don't worry if you don't have Elementor Pro, just uh, go into your main site and then go into customize. And you can go ahead and paste that in your additional CSS. It will work the exact same way. So let me go ahead and grab this here. And grab this. And I'm just going to grab both of the CSS classes or both of the CSS scripts while I'm here. Just to show you guys. And then once we paste it, you see it's going to work perfectly. There we go. Of course, we don't have that hover effect yet. That's just because we haven't added the JavaScript. So you can add it there. I'm going to go to remove it though. I'm going to add it in my, um, my advanced settings of my, uh, CSS. Okay. So that looks perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and just update this. As you can tell now, everything is the same size. The only issue is that it doesn't, it doesn't scroll whenever we hover over it, which is kind of an issue there. That's kind of the main point of the video. So what we need to do is just add some, um, JavaScript here. It's really simple. Now you're just going to copy and paste it. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and, and use our HTML code um, element. And we're going to go ahead and drag that we're going to actually create another section down here. And or you can have this at the bottom doesn't really matter just as long as it's on this page. And then go into advance. Uh, sorry, um, go into your elements, and then just type in HTML. And then just go ahead and drag this in here into this section. And then right in here, we just want to add our um, JavaScript. So, so go into the description of this video and then just grab the script here. Make sure you copy the entire thing. And then just paste it right in here. Yep. Now, as you can see, nothing will happen yet. But on the front end over here, you notice a difference now. So if we hover over this, it's going to scroll. And it all works perfectly. And I don't have to adjust it for um, I don't I don't I don't really have to adjust it for a different um, image sizes. It's automatically going to adjust for me. It doesn't matter the height of my of my image. As you can tell, it doesn't scroll all the way down. And it's pretty cool. It does that. So you don't need to worry about adjusting the sizing for every single one. That's why I kind of did this on purpose just so then you wouldn't have to worry about that. But in case you are having issues where let's say you scroll here. And then you see like a white space, probably the issue here. So it's actually this one. Let me open this a little bit. It's actually this one right here. So let me give you the example here. I'm just going to go ahead and maybe set this to 100. And then I'm going to click update. Obviously, you probably won't have this issue, but just in case you do, and you'll see it scroll, right? But you'll notice that you end up seeing this white space. And that's kind of not what we want here. So what you need to do is just adjust this accordingly and just uh, get that to the right size for, for each, each image and you should be all set. 
But like I said, you shouldn't have that issue. It should work properly with any any image that you upload. Now, of course, if the image is too short and it's not that long, let's say it's only like about this size. And of course, you're going to have that issue mainly for um, websites that obviously are longer. Now, let's go ahead and just uh, mobile optimize this really quick. We're pretty much towards the end of the video. If you want to just do this on your own, that's fine. And then just uh, you can and pretty much um, just stop watching this at this point. But I'm just going to mobile optimize this. And if you guys want to stick around and see how I would go ahead and do that. There. So I'm going to set this one to about 50. I'm going to set about pretty much have like two two columns here. Um, two, sorry, two rows, I would say. I'm going to do 50 for that one. And then 50 for that one. I'm going to split them up. That's just how I would have it on mobile. It's clearly it's kind of up to you how you would like to adjust that. Uh, maybe you can have some spacing at the top here for each one. Um, Depends how you want to do that. Maybe we can set that to 20 and then set this one up to 20 for um, your tablet. So that looks pretty good. And don't worry, it will work great on my tablet as well. And then on mobile, I'm going to just, uh, let's see, do we even need to add space? No, I think this is already looking pretty good. You can adjust some spacing if you wanted to. You can go in here and if you want to space this out a little better. Go ahead and just click on this main column here and the top you can add some spacing here. Maybe have about 25 and then 25 from here as well. And there we have it. Perfect. Now I'm just going to see this on mobile here really quick. Just this accordingly. So there we go. This all works perfectly. Go. Alrighty. This should look good on. Uh, yep, this is good too. Now, what we can do in case you're having that issue where you have spacing on the side there, we can do. Is that we can just go ahead and go in here into the main section and then maybe add some spacing to the side. You can do about 20 or you can do about 25, depending, depending if you have that issue with the spacing on each side. And then that should resolve and maybe do 50 on top and 50 from the bottom. I think that should be yeah, that looks that looks good. Um I think. All right, so it looks pretty good there. And there we have it. There we go, and there we have it. So that that uh that seems to work pretty good. Um, let me know if you guys are having issues with that, but you guys should be good there. And as you can tell, it automatically scrolls there perfectly on mobile as well. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys do have any questions on this, just feel free to comment down below, and I'll definitely try to help you guys out. Now, if you did find this video helpful, please make sure to squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It definitely helps me out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. That's pretty much it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.